real high grade Stand to affiliates with rain on parade Boy, you, there, listen I'm coming with the realest, the real high grade Stand to affiliates with rain on parade Kidders wanna bring the sound when I bring the pain Contemplate the strain, whipping bitches with the chain Say it once again Kidders wanna bring the sound when I bring the pain Contemplating with the strain, whipping bitches with the cane I fly high, no plane Right, welcome back to Stan So make some noise! Yeah. Yeah. Right now we've got Chubbs and Hawks. Right, first I've got to shout out DTR Clothing, Cold Case, Mamsies, all them tattoo oh, artists and that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, still, we know who's going first, so take it away, yeah. First things first, shouts to Stan Tall for giving me this opportunity, but I just don't understand why they've matched me with a guy that clearly hasn't even hit puberty. November <laughs> <laughs> well, was last month, kid, so what's with that shit tash you're growing on your top lip? And having that <laughs> fuck when you shave yeah. once every five months, do you manage to miss that one bit? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you prefer cunts with big clits when you're giving it a lick because it reminds you of being poked in the face by your father's limp dick. <laughs> just before he asks you to spit and suck in the tip or else he'll get his cock in the ass while being slapped with his tits. Now don't get me wrong, being submitted to abuse like that really must have been shocking, but it's still no excuse to follow in his footsteps and keep the cribs rocking. <laughs> I also hear that you give the best head in the whole of Corby, that the way you trickle those little kids' balls, it really gets them horny. And at night he sits and prays for forgiveness for his cop sins, but thanks to the Lord he hasn't been caught like Ian Watkins. Oh. You pretend you're a beast with all these mean schemes and hate systems, and you claim that you spit harder than an oral rape victim. Well, that shit's true, because I asked your dad. He also <laughs> said you were the best blowjob he ever had. He said he did feel a bit guilty, though, giving you his goat. He said it seemed a little weird losing millions of potential children down his own child's throat. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Corby Bullfair is an ancient tradition which happens every 20 years. When he first found out about it, he was too young to take part and he was like, that's so unfair. All those people riding poles through town in distress and despair, he's like, why can't I have a go? My dad says I can ride a pole better than any queer. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't take anything that I've said in this round in vain. That's why I'm called Chubbs, the truth is always in the name. It's not the fact that Hox rhymes with Cox that's the shock, it's the fact he called himself Grim Disturbed. He just added the G to hide the fact that he loves getting his rim disturbed. <laughs> Now I'm back with a vengeance, grabbing my pen and crafting the nastiest sentence, so let me have your attention. This faggot rapping profession is about to be blasted with venom and start collapsing with contracting infections that have packed in cannons ready to shatter this amateur battle rap into segments. No time for dub it downs, I've done it now, two battles running, I'll make you lose faggots, nothing like quitting nicotine. Flipping them viciously, leave them living in misery, you can see the shit that I'm spitting. It's like I'm literally dripping in lyrics, see me vividly spitting, calligraphy this bitter than shit to me. He said he's coming with the hard dark shit. Well, I'm far past it. I hope his grandma sits on a deathbed, waiting for visits, waiting and waiting for gibbons, but instead gets made to take a dick and gets raped and fiddled to that gate that's riddled with AIDS and dribbles from AIDS patients in fatal conditions, leaves her in pain and cripple for the remaining little shit stain and dribble of life she's got left. Oh. Oh. But I'm a bed with the same fucking knife you made your mum slit her wrist with. I'm done with this bitch, but you're nothing but a bitch, kid. Every single song you just cry about your ex. <laughs> Why would you cry about a skep? You barely see the only thing wider than the legs. <laughs> <laughs> Next chapter, he goes on X Factor. And he actually did. Sings about that and he thinks it's actually sick. You've got it backwards, you're a mess, because everything you do is just a factor of your ex. Oh, I'm hoping for it though. He needs to learn to hate us, turn and break that vermin straight to taking more gas and weight than this person's trainers. You don't deserve it, mate. Wait. Actually, you do. You're the fast in the room. We've only got enough room for one fat guy at Stan Tall, and that's Chapel. He's a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Big I'll leave you seeing stars because now we're passwords. Crash past these whack nerds who draft verses of daft words. It's that word's good through packs verses hot enough to crack furnaces. So watch me take away chubs like intense exercise. Then his friends next to die. Let's see if it's head test arrives. <laughs> Round two and three, I'll bring this clown to his knees like I just shot a round at his feet. Now let me take you back for a little rap history. <coughs> Fifteen years ago, 99% of all rappers were black until Eminem started dropping his tracks and ruined that stereotype fact. Now every prick thinks they can spit. Now every prick thinks they can spit. Ah, oh, you bastard. Get it. Bring that <laughs> Get it, boy. Oh, fuck's sake. Do you know that, Bart? 
Let me take you back for a little rap history. 15 years ago, 99% of all rappers you would see were black until Eminem started dropping his tracks and ruined that stereotype fact. Now every prick thinks they can spit. But I'm sure if M knew the effect he would have had in the form of this dick, he would have took a gun to his brain and ended that revolution with a click. There's no denying that you come swinging with a lyrical sword, but your flow is restricting like that mandatory week off for a whore. And I'll admit, some of your wordplay is ill and some of your bars are sick, but it's pointless if you don't have a performance to match it. I mean, you couldn't get a crowd reaction if you simultaneously licked the thousand clips. Uh. And I do feel bad for you, man. <laughs> and I do feel bad for you, man, to have gone through all that abuse and to still be a virgin. But he'll claim he's not and of course he's out of pants. But just because your dick was in your mum when she was given birth doesn't mean it counts. Yes. But just because your dick was in your mum when she was given birth doesn't mean it counts. Now here's something I'm ashamed to say, but I have to admit. Your sister Becca has a cracking set of tits. And if she didn't look like a female version of you, I would even consider giving her my dick. Because judging by the look of those two kids, we all know she'd definitely be up for it. Oh, I bet oh. she even got a fanny on her like a plastic bag. You can fill it up with loads of things and it'll stretch to a flat snap. <laughs> you said you're aiming for body bag at the event, well that means you think you're way better than me and you tried to pull it off by standing here fronting. Well bitch, I've proved you wrong. I came today with more weight than Chapo and that's fucking saying something. As <laughs> <laughs> if anybody could believe that I'd take a loss against this bloke. That's like Stephen Hawkins trying to get his leg over. No hope. Oh. Time. I'm writing lines on paper that's slicing glaciers, unlicensed fighters striking haters with sniper tracers, in line fire straight at this rider's face, live grenades go off right beside your face, see a wide array of guiding lasers, guiding Zeta reticulizer rifle right from space, I'm using verses and switch to a universal eclipse, you're losing to you I ain't certain of it, make sure you rehearse all your shit before my dispersal of scripts causes your epidermis to rip. Think you're winning, bitch, you're tripping, I ain't falling for that. Think you're swimming in the women and they're all calling you fat. I'll punch your hand so hard, I'll turn her glasses into contacts. He panics when there's combat. No passion when he's on rap. No passion when he's on rap. No one has the heart to tell him he's shit. They tell him he's developing quick and every element sick, but really he ain't progressing for shit because everything he says he gets credit for it. I've got nothing but hate from the start and fading is hard when everything they say is taken to heart. So I up my game into another lane. Got those haters to take them apart like they had some sort of change of alarm. Got my act together and every track was better. So if you don't get criticized, you'll stay whack forever. He ain't came to battle, he's just watching instead. And then I'm gonna retire John like a shot to the head. <laughs> When hocks see morons, this dude's spazzing, I'm a new classic. Your old news faggot, you're spitting fictional truth. I'll lift him and split him in two with a sinister finisher move. He's such a fucking bitch in the booth. Always raps about that slag and his problems. Rambling on about how he's... <laughs> Rambling on about how he's sad and he's lost him. So how are you gonna battle a battler when you can't even battle your problems? Oh. Oh. It. For this round, I'm gonna go back to his looks. You look like a Care Bear with nerd hair. You put on a mean glare, pretend you don't care, but sit in despair every night crying that your loss to your platform was completely unfair. <laughs> it's true. You should have came into this battle with a 2 0, but you spat more shit in those rounds than Facebook statuses and. Fucking bastard. It's true. You should have came into this round with a 2 0, but you spat more shit in those rounds than Facebook statuses from Nero. <laughs> <laughs> Strip pick, you made yourself look like Tom Cruise. That shit can be <laughs> from the truth. I think you look more like Sam Dingle, just a little less cool. <laughs> and you need to slow the fuck down, man. You ain't spitting to an instrumental of a thousand beats a minute. You told two put it's like spitting a marathon, bro. So why do you sound like you're sprinting to finish? <laughs> so why do you sound like you're sprinting to finish? Exactly that. Fucking tight. Come now, now do that, man, do that! I struggle starting a third. It's hard to put bars in a verse when the first two verses are all the bars he deserves. I didn't even think body bag, just started writing, clicked on word and just started typing. I said it wouldn't address the shit, but I needed something else to spit, so... Your management company. Oh, true. There we go. Oh, there we go, yeah. Oh, true. Ah, true. See, I even fuck true. <laughs> 
That slag is so ragged and ugly, no body bag would actually touch it. She needs burned at a stake for turning a game into a place full of vermin and fakes. Nurture the fame of everyone earning the place, put money in the purse, and she takes charges of all the verses and tapes that you release for exposure. But did you read the disclosure? She takes your feet to promote you, then you lean on her shoulder, pay her feet to be chauffeured into the game for an easy ride. You may as well be called MC Bleed Me Dry. <laughs> Blind in one eye, she's a shrine to some guys. I'll define this one time. Oh, a spastic! Your manager is blind in one eye, she's a shrine to some guys. I'll define this one time. You'll always be carrying the sketch, because you'll always see half of what you get. <laughs> she gets the phone out, looking at Google with the right eye, while Googling the left eye. <laughs> Chubs, liposuction. This wide obstruction size for something you can't describe. Erupting a pad of rhymes, destructing every fag in sight. With punches 10,000 Fahrenheit combusting, there ain't a man alive to touch him. Recovering from this defeat, it's like a plaster to a severed arm. I'm a master in every art, capturing heavy bars, I'm a rapture beheading lard. Oh, yeah. And a tattoo on your arm says you live for hip hop. You don't know what I'd give for hip hop. I don't know why I tried to rip John. I should just cut his hand off and let him die for hip hop. Yo, it's Death Majors. Shout to Stan Tall, Northern Dons, um, no ego, hush hush media all the time. Judging Hawks versus Chubbs. Hawks and Chubbs first round were very similar, both very generic with a couple of hard hitting bars like Chubbs had the Corby bar and um, Hawks had intense exercise making loose Chubbs. Round two, Chubbs come on a lot of chokes. Um, his Eminem bar was nice. Went in on his sister who, to be honest, I've checked out with Hawks' sister on Facebook. She's alright, you know. Um, Hawks come back with um, the John Lennon bar. John the air, I'll retire him like John with a shot to the head. Bar, skanking out with that yeah. bar. Um, and he went in on, kept going in on Chubbs' act, which was brilliant. Chubbs come out the next round, he picked his flow up, stumbled again, bodied Nero. The Sam Dingle line was nice, and the um, marathon sprint to finish line was nice. And then the choke. Now, Hawks come out and he bodied T.R.U, which right. is always fun. Um, do you know, it was that good Macher through his tipsy drink all over me. <laughs> but all in all, I'm going to give it two, the first two to, all three rounds, sorry, to Hawks. Big up Hawks, see if... Yo, yo. Yes, what's happening? It's GWE -E at GDE on Twitter, GDC is 4-4. Um, fucking... I enjoyed that battle, yeah, that was a funny fucking battle, like, the first round, Chubbs' first round was fucking good, like, it was hard hitting, I liked his punchlines, but I just think, like, Hawks edged it in that one, like, because his, his flow, I think his flow was spectacular, his, his bar, I, I, I would like to sit there while he wrote the bar, because, like, his bar's proper, intricate and clever, but then the funny as well, so, first round they had to give to Hawks, um, Chubbs again, in the second round, he had some good punchlines, really good punchlines, but I think, like, the stumbling, I think he could have styled the stumble a bit better, where, like, saying fuck and then repeating it. That's, that's, that's the worst way to choke if you repeat your shit when you forget it. Um, Hawks again, come out strong, good flow. Well, <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Hawks, Hawks come out again with world-class flow. Like, I think if he works on his projection and becomes louder and, and like, more bouncing round, I think like he's he's gonna be fucking quality. But second round again, Hawks. Third round, I think there was no contest in there. I think Chubbs come out a bit. I think Chubbs knew he was beat. Then he had another little stumble, some good bars. But I just think Hawks just styled on him to be honest and, and took the third round with ease. So it has to be a free nil. Shout out DVS and Hush Hush Media. But yeah, Shades, Northern Dons, Ripping Hill City, Stand Up, Stand Up Tall, Big Up Tall, yeah. Um, for me, it's going to have to be uh, like Chubbs. He went in like all the way through, but then when he started stumbling and forgetting his bars, for me, that, that just edged it to Hawks. Like, Hawks, like, he had a lot of content and it was consistent. 
and for me, like Hawks edged it like that. So yeah, just keep it short and sweet. But uh, we we went into yeah, this. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. Just, I knew he was gonna do that. I thought he was gonna go like three <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome back to another episode of Stand Talk. People make some noise out here. Welcome back to Stand Talk. People make some noise out here. Yeah, the results are in. Yeah, Chubbs versus Hawks and. Fox is your winner, man. Make some noise. Oh,